Welcome back aliens. In this module, we will cover how to add relationships and further schedule the project. So this is the all of the uh, uh, most important uh, module in such a way that uh, all of the things that we have already done uh, uh, start uh, from the creating the EPS and further creating the project, um, creating different WBS assembly tasks and further adding activities. And all of this uh, bridge down to um, um, uh, making a schedule uh, out of the uh, all of the activities that we have done so far. Uh, so um, here is the uh, presentation. Uh, these are the uh, different activities that we have already added in the project and these are the respective relationships. So these relationships are uh, mentioned as the activity IDs. So please for the time being I'm not uh, restricting, restricting you or limitizing you um, uh, but uh, still for the time being for this particular training please assign uh, or uh, uh, please make it clear that your uh, respective activity IDs uh, should uh, be similar to that of mine uh, because it will make things easier for you later on. Uh, so uh, just add uh, these particular uh, pre, uh, the uh, particular activities as predecessor to uh, these activities. So how we'll do that? There are ways uh, in doing that. You just uh, select particular activity and uh, here in the activity details. Uh, select the predecessor and assign this predecessor. You can uh, do this in this fashion or you can add a sim uh, simpler a column uh, here. Here is the column tab. Just search for the predecessor. Predecessor column is here. Just add this column and here is the column is added. So uh, you, you, you should adjust uh, this thing uh, and uh, make sure that um, the sequence of the activities should be with respect to activity IDs. So here uh, what we will do that we, that we will add uh, the predecessors. You can add these as successors whatever you want but still it's easy uh, as a human to just uh, add the relationship with respect to predecessors. So approval to bit there will be no predecessor for approval to bit it is just the start of the project so we will just leave it or even if we try to do that we can't do this because it has no predecessor. So you will suggest select, uh, you will just uh, double click on the respective predecessor column for the respective ID. This window will pop up and select approval to bid or uh, you, uh, you can just clarify from here that uh, 1000 uh, for activity 1000, uh, this is the predecessor for uh, this activity. So this is uh, how it works. Um, just assign approval to be as its predecessor. Now, that's the point. It has shown uh, the activity ID as a predecessor, not the activity name. That's why I was of the point uh, just to make uh, your activity IDs or, or just uh, cross check your activity IDs uh, that should uh, that should be similar to uh, that of uh, here you are showing in the training. Um, Similarly, for uh, for uh, this activity ID, for this activity, uh, this activity will be the predecessor. So you will do just uh, you will uh, you will do the uh, just uh, mention over here. Now, uh, it, it, one thing is very interesting that if I have to uh, make um, the predecessor for uh, document delivery methodology and select document delivery methodology itself uh, you can't do that because an activity can't be the predecessor of itself that's understood now this is the predecessor i will just add according to the presentation uh, is showing now um, uh, the predecessor for a 1060 is 1030 Here you can, uh, in this way you will add the predecessors. For 1070 there are two predecessors, 1050 and 1060. You can uh, select uh, multiple predecessors like this. Or even you can delete a predecessor. For example, if I select uh, this particular predecessor, uh, but that's not actually the case, I will have to delete 1020. What I will do, I will select this and uh, whatever I have to delete, I just 
click on the cross and this particular processor is deleted You will do this accordingly like for 1100 the predecessor is 1050 again for this particular uh, activity there are two predecessors Right, so I hope uh, we have done it accordingly. So that's how you have added the predecessors, and uh, you can add uh, from uh, from the TV details, um, whatever you like. So uh, as you can see, that these are the relationship lines. Now, if uh, I have to check that uh, the schedule which I have made is clear for the presentation or not uh, so um, I think uh, we have added the predecessors in a way that uh, mentioned the presentation uh, what we will do that uh, we just schedule uh, our project um, you can see that here the total duration for this particular summary task is 5 because the duration for the activity which is the most longest is 5 so it is taking just the uh, the maximum uh, duration activity as its own duration likewise the most longest uh, activity duration is uh, uh, obtain code from suppliers it is of 10 days uh, of 8 days and it's taking the uh, the summary task for delivery plan as 8 days similarly this will assign for the whole project now uh, why is it so because uh, we haven't uh, so is this the um, the uh, duration for the whole project uh, no because we haven't scheduled this project as yet so in uh, contrary to uh, what we do in uh, CPM we uh, just assign relationships and uh, further we make all the calculations um, it's quite cumbersome when it comes to multiple activities even if I give you an assignment to make a CPM for these activities um, it will take a lot of time uh, contrary to what we learned in class although um, for the primavera it is very much um, um, a simple project but uh, in order to uh, do uh, manually uh, CPM path um, it's very time consuming but here we will do it in a single click you just uh, go into this tab it is scheduled you can press F9 from the keyboard or you can click over here whatever you like now what we will do that we will just schedule the project but one thing um, that uh, it is showing the current data date now what is the data date? Data date is the date on which you uh, monitor the project and further uh, give a report to the uh, to your consultant or uh, your, your employer. For example, if you are completing, if you are giving the report of for the whole month, uh, uh, so our data date will be um, 31st of uh, particular month, right? If 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 I have to uh, give my uh, client presentation um, till day till today uh, for the whole of uh, October uh, what what will be my current uh, current data current date will be 17th of October but this is for the project controlling part since I am uh, making a schedule and uh, I'm making a schedule uh, that will going to take place uh, in future uh, what my current data date will be my current data date will be the start of the project 
whatever I have chosen at that time. Whenever, when I was plan, when I was just creating the project, uh, you should remember one thing that I um, created a plan started. What was that? It the date I uh, or the date the date I have selected at that time was um, the was that date. Yeah, I was just creating a project. Or uh, even if uh, it is in the planning phase, it is going to happen in the near future. It may be get started in 1st of December or 1st of January or uh, even six months down the line. I will choose the project start date as my current data date at this moment. So I will just uh, leave this uh, the current data date as 17th of October. Otherwise, if it's any different date for you, you must select the project start date as your current data date. You just schedule your project. All right. So here we are. Uh, here you can see that uh, it has been shifted to 31. So our whole project comprises of 31 days. And uh, it is starting on 19th of October to 27th of November. As you can see that 31 days uh, one question arise, uh, arises over here that uh, if my duration is 31 days and my project is starting from 19th of October then uh, first of all why it is starting from 19th of October because uh, my calendar shows that Saturdays and days uh, off days uh, are off days so uh, first of all it is automatically starting from Monday that is 19th one thing and uh, if it is starting from 19th 31 days uh, according to the calendar days it will be um, it will it will get uh, completed on um, you can say almost 20 20th or 21st of november, uh, november but it's completing on 27th of november so that's why it is a difference between calendar days and uh, working days because my working days are not the same as of my calendar days because i have chosen five day work week as my calendar the situation might be different for you um, Maybe your, your starting point becomes definitely different, so uh, but your finishing point will also be different. Considering the fact that you have assigned the same duration as of mine. So, um, another point, um, yeah, you might uh, ask a question that, uh, uh, that that its presentation is uh, not very clear. So, we will adjust the, the time scale of our timeline. Um, one thing um, you can do, you simply You simply move your cursor over here. It will show you a, a sign of magnifying glass. You can just click over here and drag. Now you can maximize or minimize. You can do either way, but this is not the perfect way of doing things. Uh, we can do it in some other. Just right click, time scale. This is the time scale, and. Uh, we have uh, just adjusted into two lines. You can do this in three lines, but make it two lines for to make things appropriate. Now, uh, type calendar and uh, date interval. No date interval. We will change uh, this thing. Um, here it is quarter per month. But no, what is quarter? Quarter means one four. So it will take the it is taking the whole year um, and splitting into. Uh, one quarter so uh, this is the quarter part of the year and this is the and these are the months in that particular quarter so that's why um, since our, our project is almost of one month so that is the reason why it is just uh, showing this particular uh, timeline it is just completing in one month so we need to I think um, change this time scale and uh, shift it to for example, for example, if we change this to year per month, okay. So on the top top line is the year, and then the, on the on the second uh, line it is the months. So it is also not uh, comprehensive to show this thing. Uh, we we should change as month per week. Uh, we should select month per week. Uh, all right. So the I think that's a bit a good way of uh, presenting things and we can change this to week per day 
we can change this to this but all right so you may think that this is the good way of presenting this project because our project is just starting um, it is completing in a, almost a month uh, so that's why uh, the lesser the scale will be uh, the better so that's uh, how uh, it works um, now one thing yeah, you can see that uh, this is the milestone as we have already selected this particular activity as a milestone now these are the red lines uh, what do they show red bars these red bars show that these are the critical activities and the green line green bars show that these are the non-critical activities uh, now uh, in gpm or in critical path method you have to ma do manual stuff and uh, it's quite time consuming but uh, in software you just get this thing in one click These are, this is the milestone this is the way the project is completing now we can see one thing that uh, all right so what if um, as uh, you can see that uh, in the green bar are the non-critical activities so where is the float i can't see that so first of all i just add i should shift uh, the predecessor in the database and uh, add total float bar this is the total float column we should add this total float and we can see that uh, over here right so here we can see that this is this activity comprises two days of total float because this is the non-critical activity similarly this critical this non-critical activity has two days of float and similarly for this and all of the rest of the activities has have no float because they are showing in red bars and these are critical activities and uh, further we will show the float bar just check and uh, all right so just refresh uh, press f5 uh, you can see that um, all of my project a schedule shows that uh, these are the activities that have floats in them and you can uh, um, so you can give a slippage or slide these activities with respect to their floats it won't make any difference to your project so that's all uh, i hope uh, this thing was uh, quite interesting the whole of the exercises we have done so far was just to make our schedule at this point um be it uh, just uh, making a calendar uh, be it uh, uh, only to make a, 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 just to create a project all of these activities bridge down to creating a project schedule and further we will see that how we will update the schedule how we will uh, create a baseline and uh, adding uh, resources uh, thank you so much for your patience. Hope to see you again.